So while you were gone, I was doing some thinking about what topic I wanted to cover next, and I figured I'd keep it simple and cover vanillas for winter. Now while vanilla itself is not necessarily my favorite note to wear, or is it not necessarily something I seek in perfumes, I still appreciate it. And I do have a few perfumes that I would consider vanilla forward. Um, and I wouldn't say any of them are particularly gourmand. I mean, they are, some of them are delicious, but I don't know if they would teeter into the territory of gourmand. So with that out of the way, we're gonna cover some vanilla fragrances while I'm cooking dinner. You're gonna keep me company. I'm gonna be making myself some cabbage soup. I'm only gonna be using half the head of this cabbage um, and be putting these vegetables in it and some potatoes, some taters and uh, can canelli. Cananelli, these beans. I'm going to be putting these beans in there. I already rinsed them and washed them in and just putting some spice. I'm not following any particular recipe. I'm just going to go with my nose here. Um, yeah, no recipe. So let's just get started. This time I remembered to greet you, huh? Hi, hey, baby. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for being here. I always appreciate you. And with that, let's just get it started. Okay, so first I'm just going to put my. Uh, my base is, I'm not going to use olive oil today, I want something a little bit more substantial, so I'm just going to use clarified ghee here, nothing special. I'm just going to use about a tablespoon, about a tablespoon, and this stove on. How are you guys doing? You doing alright? You doing okay? Alright, let me just do that. So the first one we'll talk about here is <laughs> an issue. Um, if you've watched maybe, hopefully, a couple of my videos, if not, you can just go back and check um, why I'm laughing when I say the word initio. I have a few initio fragrances, but I also severely have cracked on the house. But I also want to be very clear, whilst I have cracked on the house, it's just the one particular perfume that I experienced for some reason had like really rubbed me the wrong way and that was must therapy. I'm not sure what it was about the formula. I didn't feel like it was up to the standards for the price, the retail price if, if that makes sense. Because I understand we can get it on discount, we can get it on second hand, but my determining factor of quality is not based on what I can get at a discount, but what it is at retail. And I thought they had a lot of cojones stopping that price on must therapy, which I still stand by that. Now with that said, their purple line is pretty substantial and I really appreciate it. So for this vanilla list, while vanilla is not particularly noted, I think this is a vanilla forward fragrance and there is an amber accord note listed in side effect, which is what I'm holding over here. It's initio side effect, if you can see right there. Um, this is unique. I mean, I guess maybe it's not unique now because I'm sure it's, it's cloned, but whether or not it's cloned aside, Ooh, man, this is so good. Um, gosh. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold that thought. Wait, do, do you want to do me a favor? You, you want to? No, you chopped this. You chopped this. Last time you slacked. You did not do any chopping. What? You, you're not going to help? Okay, you know what? You get time out. So, since you're on time out, you're just going to sit there and you're going to think about not helping out and contributing to this kitchen. Okay? So, you can write down five times. I will help out in Headless's kitchen next time. Okay, so the first one... I'm a little discombobulated. A moment though. Wait, how, how am I going to start this? Wait, let me think about this for a second. Okay, we're going to do this, this, and then that. The, okay, I got it. I, I'm, or, I'm oriented now. Okay, so side effects by Initio. Um, my critique of Initio aside, I think side effect is worth the price. It, but of course, if you can get on discount, always get it on discount. But I'm just letting you know my parameters for judging a quality of a fragrance. Um, it is boozy. I smell a little fruit in here. I believe there must be some kind of cinnamon note or some kind of spice note in there. And I believe there has to be amber in there as well. And it is a heavier scent. You don't need more than three sprays, three, maybe four, if you wanna get a little risky. It's a perfect evening scent and it'll stay with you. There is something very sexy about the scent that is, I think, perfectly unisex, even though I feel like there's a little bit of fruitiness there, but it is so balanced by that that um, ambric um, accord, and the vanilla is not a gourmand vanilla, right? While you will smell absolutely, I guess, 
there's also a mysterious element to it. It, it it is just I don't know what it is about this bloody fragrance and I I think there's tobacco in here and I actually don't know who the perfumer is this initial release the name of the perfumers I'm not exactly sure but I think that's actually kind of irrelevant in this regard it is tobacco-y and don't get freaked out because there's nothing smoky about this fragrance it's tobacco-y vanilla-y boozy um it doesn't stay very boozy for long but i feel like the booziness goes hand in hand with that um sweetness in the opening and it's not too cinnamony because sometimes i worry if a cinnamon uh, fragrance will have too much cinnamon it is something i i actively worry about sometimes because i feel like it can kill a fragrance but here it's just done very well um ooh, oh no my eyes are actually watering that almost never happens Ooh, you guys can't tell my eyes are watering. Oh boy, this is making me pause a little bit. I, I generally don't um, have my eyes water. Anyway, we're just gonna press forward and hopefully I don't chop my finger off because I have a missing head and I want missing fingers too. Okay, so sick um, jokes aside, vanilla, vanilla fragrance um, is this side effect. Again, not listed explicitly, but there is an amber accord and an amber accord, if you're not familiar, is a mix of different other notes and I believe vanilla and labdanum, labdanum is one of them. Um, so if you want a vanilla that's not gourmand or not like frou-frou or like girly, um, this would be it for you. Um, if you can get it on this counter, definitely look into it. There are some, there are some clones or alternatives, I don't like that word, alternatives for different budgets. Um, I don't really recall any off the top of my head, so I'm not going to say any of them, but I think... Oh, wait, that's not true. I did a short on one of them by Fragrance World, I think. But it was all right. It, it's not that great of uh, an alternative, but it is nice for what it is. I hope that makes sense. Um, but just put it in YouTube. There's a lot of people that have covered it. Um, I'm not saying you, you can watch other people. I don't care. I'm just here to share my experience with you. Um, so that's the first one. Now, the next one we'll talk about is something that it's, needs more love than it is, sorry, it's, it's, it's a little fingerprinty. This one is Elysier. This one's called Desired. Oh man, don't be fooled by this tiny little 30 ml bottle. This is gonna last you a lifetime. Powerful, powerful little beast of a fragrance. Um, it opens with vanilla, so let me just remind myself vanilla, saffron, there's a wood in here, there is cumin, and actually we'll be cooking with cumin today, right here. Um, but initially when I first sprayed it, the first few times, I couldn't quite get the cumin accord, um, but it's, it's been, I think, half a year, or probably more than, yeah, half a year since I've had it now, and I can smell it much more prominently, and it doesn't change my opinion of the fragrance. It is such a sexy fragrance. And perfect for the holiday time when it's the social season when you'll be going to a lot of parties a lot of events um, or you're not even going or maybe you even have your hosting right maybe you're hosting parties or just traveling a lot this little baby will last 10 to 12 hours 10 to 12 hours and I think there's a little bit of green accords in here and one thing I want to note, which I don't know if I've noted in the summer when you spray this, be careful of spraying it on clothes like for this, because this is lighter in color, it's a cream color, I wouldn't spray this directly on my clothes because when you spray it, there's going to be, there's a little bit of an orange tinge to the liquid, so you need to be a little bit careful. You know what, I'm going to throw this in at the last minute, let me just get started on the celery. I already pre-washed everything except this, I need to wash that in a little bit. Um, <clears throat> Yes, so what was I talking about? Elysir Desired. Um, it is a bit pricey. I think it might be around $200. You can get this in Miami at Osme Perfumery, but you can also buy it online as well. This baby will get you compliments. And I just want to make a note again on compliments. There's nothing wrong with compliments, right? So let's look at it this way. There's nothing wrong with appreciating a compliment. There's seeking out compliments and knowing how to accept a compliment, right? So those who seek out compliments, whether it be perfume or anything, right, on, on a consistent basis, that may be an indicator of low self-esteem. May or may not be, right? Because it's all it's all contextual. Versus 
when somebody goes out of their way to give you a compliment, knowing how to accept it graciously is a sign of high self-esteem or can be an indicator of high self-esteem. So for me, I appreciate a compliment, although it's not something that I seek out because regardless of what a perfume I wear, people around me just tend to be really kind, strangers even. Um, I'm not really sure what it is. I think I just have one of those faces. So if you like compliments, I would just say look at the intention of why you like compliments. Is it the only thing that you seek? And the reason why I say that because will you wear a perfume that you are not a fan of but you know gets compliments? I, I hope that makes sense. So let me flip it this way. If I don't like a fragrance, I'm not going to wear it. I don't care if it gives me multiple compliments. Like, oh my God, I'm sorry again. Guidance by Amouage. I don't like it. And, but I can see why it gets compliments. Therefore, I will not wear it, if that makes sense. Or Good Girl Carolina by Carolina Herrera. Again, I won't wear it, even if I know I get compliments. Does that make sense? So I just kind of want to pause and, you know, self-seek or question yourself why. Um, it is so important to you, right? Because we all appreciate it, I would hope. Because people usually go out on a limb to come up to you. People you even know, people you work with, go out of their way to come up to you to let you know how beautiful you look, how beautiful you smell, blah, 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 right? So to appreciate that. I don't know, I guess I'm kind of babbling. I, I know that it's a, uh, people can say that it's an indicator of low self-esteem or just attention seeking. I just want to, you know, let's just look at this in another way, you know? You never know when somebody's having, oh my God, I'm still not chopping. Why do you say something? For goodness sake, okay. Um, I'm not going to waste ends because there's nothing wrong with this. I'm just going to use the whole thing. Um, for example, if somebody... That's my cat sneezing. I'm sorry. You okay? You good? Okay. Bless you. Um, you never know if somebody's having a bad day or if somebody just got yelled at at work or... Um, I don't know. Maybe their partner ripped them a new one. I don't know, right? So you just never know the power of kindness. It doesn't even have to be a perfume. It could just be smiling at a stranger. Um, I don't know what I'm saying. I guess what I'm just saying is not necessarily an indicator of somebody being an attention seeker when they appreciate compliments. I think that's I think that's essentially all I'm trying to say. Um, it just kind of depends on the person's intention and at the end of the day nobody really knows your intention other than you. So I would just say know thyself. Okay, so the next one um, after this year. So this one, huge compliment getter. Last 10 to 12 hours. Be careful when you spray on light clothes like this. Spray on dark clothes to just spray on your skin. Either way, even on your skin, 10 hours. Now, the next one, um, I talked about, I think, several times on this channel already. Um, it's called History. So now I'm kind of getting a little confused. I don't know if this is a project or a company. Because when I looked at the box, I love the box. It's a plain wooden box that has a magnetic cap. Um, History, Spanish carnation. I don't know if it's just a... A, a, a solo project done by a bigger company I'm not sure but if you go to Max Roma and you put in history Spanish carnation this is where they, they sell it I don't remember where else they sell it if they do but now this one's a unique one this one you first spray it I really enjoy this one do you know a Barbie head you know the head of a Barbie where the hair comes out of the scalp the scalp the head the plastic head of the Barbie that's kind of what it reminds me of straight blast on the opening and it is this almost because of that opening i know it sounds weird but it's a nostalgic feeling and it doesn't last long that that kind of plastic doll head not burnt rubber not rubber but the actual when you put your head to i i, I love to smell things right i've always been that way just everything around me i want to smell and the specifically the barbie head when you the hair comes out of the scalp and you put your nose to the plastic hair and the plastic scalp that kind of sweet smell because the Mattel Barbie dolls kind of had a sweet smell if you if you understand what I'm talking about um, and that is kind of the first plastic I get. again not rubbery not burnt plastic not charred or nothing it's just sweet and there's this unusual corn note in here now for this one it has oh give me one minute almost like a slight nod to vintage perfumery and the reason why I say that because there's carnation notes and cloves in here and if that sound that sound sounds like it might scare you I would urge you don't be scared by that because 
the way that is blended, and when I mean just a nod, I mean just a nod if you're searching for the vintage bling. Um, it's only because I think of the carnation and the clove. On the opening, you get that. There's also corn. Oh my God, did I mention this corn? Again, when I say this is unusual, me, unusual. I don't know about if anyone else would think that. But this is an extrait de parfum, so it's super strong. It's sweet, a little waxy, and I think the waxiness is supposed to emulate, because if you look at a corn kernel, um, like the ones in the can, or even on a corn of cob, it's a little waxy, right? But it's also sweet on the opening, so it opens with this sweet waxiness. Um, carnation flower, carnation and clove are not the same. Like, carnation can have clove undertones, but it is not the same. So it opens with clove, and there is also a transparent green waft going through this that I think just gives it another element, which I love, and I'm assuming is from Muget in here, or Lily of the Valley. And then as it starts to dry down on your skin, the clove starts to heat up. Um, the perfume, it, it, just adds a little something all the way on the deep dry down. Again, I hyperanalyze things. In the air, it smells bloody amazing. But on the for the people who are interested, all the way on the deep dry down, I smell like there's cinnamon in there mixed with the clove. But anyway, gorgeous vanilla. Vanilla on the opening carnation. And it's not prickly, not at all. Um, the carnation and the clove, I think, is really well blended in here. And I mean just the most micro nod to vintage perfumery. Again, only for those who are paying attention and look for it, if that makes sense. You only need a few sprays of this, darling, you will get noticed. And again, for men that don't mind uh, a sweeter fragrance, you can fully pull this off because it's a vanilla kind of sweetness. It's not a fruity sweetness, if that makes sense. And you only need a few sprays. And when I mean this will last on your clothes, like for example, on your sweater, if you smell your sweater the next day, you're going to still smell this on your sweater. So extract that popcorn. Um, again, when I kind of think about it, I'm not really sure if it's an actual brand itself or just a project, whatever the case is, go to Max Aroma and you can look at it there. And I think there's a, a travel spray in the little black uh, travel, the really cute packaging they have, the leather with gold top, super cute with MA on top. Um, just love, 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 love this. And it is, yeah, people are gonna love it. Um, it's not a sexy perfume, but it is pretty. There's something a little bit comforting about it. And just highly weather appropriate. I feel like it's really gonna now shine in this weather. Um, it was in my fall list, and I'll, I'll link that up here. Future Headless, pay attention. Stop what you're doing, stop doing 100 million things. Link up with the cars right over here, that playlist you're talking about. Okay, back to reality here. So I'm gonna put that up there for y'all guys. Um, you can listen to that if you haven't already. It's my autumn list, which I also featured this one. Really solid pick. Okay, so these ones are expensive. So this one's expensive, 390 retail. You can get it on discount. This one's expensive, 200 or thereabouts. Either 200 or above 200. Um, I don't think you can get this on discount. This one, you, you have to pay a full price because it's not popular, so it's not on discounters. Maybe you might be able to get a decant because when I mean this is under the radar, I mean this is under the radar. Um, I think the only person who talked about it was um, Joel. Literally, that's how I learned about this. Um, if you are in Miami, you can go to Aussie Perfumery. I believe they still have that there. You can test that. I tested all the ones from the house. It was 50-50. 50% of them I liked and 50% I didn't. Um, I think they were just too much for me, but this is the most solid one out of the line, in, in my opinion. So if you're in Miami, you can go test it out. Or, oh, but the website, um, the website, they do sell samples. Not Osme, but the actual Elysia website, they sell samples. So those are the ways that you can go about having to drop money on, on that. Okay, now the next one is a bit, not a bit, more affordable. Um, for you guys and that you will be able to, oh, I'm sorry, did he show me scent of the days? Oh, I'm so, God, now nobody watches you. You're so bad at this. So my scent of the morning, um, I'm wearing something else right now. So my scent of the morning, um, when you order from Lucky Scent, there's a bunch of samples that get sent to you. Now, majority of the time when I order from Lucky Scent, I don't like the samples. I would say I don't like the samples, but they don't resonate with me. Um, but the last, last package of the package, whatever I bought a couple of times ago, a time or two ago, 
every single um, sample that I got in that package hit for me, every single, and every single one of the um, samples. And from those, I was testing again, I think for the third time today, like a little spot check, and I ended up buying a full bottle of this this morning. Healy by, Healy? Is the brand Healy? I think the brand is Healy, and this one's called Cell Marin. Now, a little critique for Lucky Scent here. Love y'all, really, love this company. But, I mean, can you look at the bottle? Can you look at the bottle? Like, I have tiny hands, and I struggle opening. Like, what is this? Oh my goodness, it's so tiny. It's so tiny. Look at it. It's so tiny, but it's so cute. Okay, but whatever. The point is, it gets, it, it does what it needs to do, right? Is the efficiency of it 100? No. At the end of the day, only full atomizer of a bottle will give you the full experience of wearing it and immersing yourself in it. But it does what it needs to do. So that critique aside, with these little and bottles, it does what it needs to do. So I ended up buying a full bottle of this. Um, I think it was the third time testing it or the second time. But I fell in love with it the first time and smelled it. So every single sample that I got that day, I just got lucky. Did I see what I did there? Um, every single one hit for me and they're all on my wish list. Not this package, but the package the last one, whatever, you guys don't care, like literally nobody cares. Um, really good scent, this is like a marine, I wouldn't say aquatic, but there is an aquatic touch to it. Not a blue fragrance, but that kind of marine kind of smell. And the scent that I'm wearing tonight is the one I just got uh, yesterday, it is from Amouage Jubilation 25, that's the scent for tonight. Um, I wore it earlier in, the later in the afternoon, excuse me. So that was my scent of the day. Amouage Jubilation 25 is my scent of afternoon slash evening, if you can call it that. Um, and Jubilation 25 is, they just had a 40th anniversary, so Jubilation 40, they're not the same. And just in my opinion, they're not the same at all. There is a, a thread of DNA, a very similar, I guess, Resonation, they both resonate very similarly, but they're not the same, just my humble opinion. So moving on, next one up, more affordable. It's available in Ulta, at least last time I checked, because this bottle is old. In Ulta, you can go and check this one out. This one I haven't worn in a hot minute, hot minute. Uh, this is Fresh Cream Warm Cashmere by Philosophy. This runs about $45, but since you can go into support, and uh, support Oopsie, I'm sorry. Sorry, Ulta, I didn't mean to say that. Yo, they don't know who I am, that's not what I'm saying. Ulta, Sephora, they're two competing brands, my bad. Ulta, um, this is, I think, a really easy everyday scent. If you like, and I think the reason why I don't really reach for it too much, as, as much as nice as it is, I feel like it leans a little bit too sweet for me, but I, way back when I first started my channel, Future, Headless, pay attention, now I'll link it over here, what you're talking about. All right, now back back to future, present time. My first sit down tray review, I talked about this and I said that this was a hug in a bottle. And I still stick by that, that um, yeah, it's a hug in a bottle. When you just need something comforting, it's not a blast off the skin, but it does have, you know, it sits in, it sits in your bubble. Um, sweet, it has cashmere element, a little lock tonic. So the original Fresh Cream, the reason why I don't like that one, again, I don't like octonic scents. Um, I'm not sure why, I just don't like the smell of milk. And while I can appreciate that it smells nice in the skin, why would I want to smell like something I don't want to smell like, if that makes sense. Um, yeah, I just, I don't know what it is. I, I got issues. I don't like the smell of milk. Even the most pure milk that has a blue tinge, it's just something about it. You know what? I don't put too much care. So I'm going to save this for shredding and I'll use it for something else. Okay. You know what? Hold on. Should I do this? Yeah. Let me just do this right now. I'm only going to use a little bit, not too much. here and rinse it oh yeah so warm cashmere it's exactly what it smells like vanilla a little bit of cashmere i believe there has to be a little bit of musk and when i say this is simple and straightforward and to the point should i use the whole cabbage and just get it over with and then just freeze some you know what thank you this is just what i'm going to do i'm going to use the whole thing and then just freeze the rest thank you i appreciate that i appreciate your contribution you're not on timeout anymore okay so vanilla um, let me just hold on. I'm sorry. That's Okay. 
So I'm gonna just let this drain for a few minutes, let the water drain out of that, and then I'll work on my potatoes, my taters. Um, I leave the skin on. I think there's a lot of healthy nutrients in it. Um, cut off with that part here. So warm cashmere, 45 bucks. I think that's a little bit more affordable for you guys if you want to check it out because they have a growing amount of people in their early 20s. Um, from 18 in the early 20s watching me. So it's something you might want to check out. And I have a little blast from the past. This one is Shalimar at the toilet. Vanilla. So, oh, this one, I just love this one. There is this, again, I have no idea. With these older fragrances, I mean, there's a hundred bazillion, trillion different um, notes in them. So I'm not gonna really get go here, but there's some kind of orange note on the opening, vanillic. There's this addictive, what I, I interpret, this musky, addictive, sweet, but not like a skin sweet, kind of ambergris in here that drives me nuts. And when I wear this, people love this on my, I don't know what it is. So I know, is it a parfum? Is, oh, oh, mama has a, sorry, I'm recording. Sorry, yes, so ad addictive on the skin. And I, I don't know what it is about this. Oh, and the particular feel of ambergris in here is, what is it? P H I Un Nui Kandahar. It's just, there's something in here that reminds me of that particular amber green note. And so, people who appreciate vintages, but the thing is, I, I, I kind of want to tread lightly when I use the word vintage. Um, I'm going to have dinner with my mommy for a second, so just let me finish this up real quick. Okay, so I feel like the ones that are considered outdated. I appreciate floral fragrances, even vintage ones, but I feel like citrus leaning or vanilla, vanillic leaning or green, green perfumes are timeless when they're done right. And I feel like the other toilet, I don't, I haven't smelled the other pop foam in over a couple of years. It, yeah, it's been a couple of years, but the other toilet, there's something about it that just, for the ladies that are skeptical when I use the word vintage, I would highly recommend to get a decant and try it out um, at the toilet. Okay, so I'm gonna link all the names down below, put all the names down below, future me, pay attention. Uh, was that there this entire time? Was, was that onion skin there the entire time? All right, okay, that aside, thank you so much for being here. If there are any other vanilla perfumes you should, um, I should know about, let me know down below. But more importantly, let me know what your favorite vanilla fragrances are. And I'm just gonna finish cooking, spend some time with Zimoma and I'll talk to you guys soon. Just remember, the sweetest fragrance we will ever wear are not these perfumes, but our behavior. And another gentle reminder to find somebody to thank today, even just for some things more. More importantly, take a moment to thank God, because if you're here watching this video, that means you made it into yet another day. And even with our trials and tribulations, God is great. Thank you, my friend. Bye.